The dust has settled on the qualifying round for the first Boulder World Cup in Salt Lake City. An energetic crowd and sunny skies made for a fantastic competition atmosphere. The men climbed first and they got to work early. As we have been accustomed to seeing, the Japanese team came out strong, putting five climbers into the semi-final. Tomoa Narasaki with five tops, looking calm, cool and collected throughout the round. The Americans definitely came to play on home turf and put four climbers through to Sunday, led by Sean Bailey, who climbed exceptionally well and being rewarded with five tops in his round. Jakob Schubert here looking fit and strong, earning his first semi-final spot of the 2022 season. Young Mejdi Schalk continues to impress on the open circuit. So, very good round, uh, very happy to be back in Salt Lake City with an uh, amazing crowd. A lot of new school boulders and also some technical, but I'm excited to do a lot of uh, like jumps and hard boulders. Yeah. Just missing the third boulder and climbed well in all the boulders, so happy. You are a very exciting, very dynamic climber. Last year here, you came off the wall, you spiked your chalk bag in happiness. It bounced up about three feet. Are we gonna see another chalk bag spike in Salt Lake City this weekend? Maybe five feet uh, this year, but I uh, will see, yeah, I hope. I hope we do. Good luck, bon chance, felicitations from this morning and keep crushing. Merci bien, thank you. The women climbed in the afternoon and saw Natalia Grossman leading the way for a strong showing on the American team. She topped all five boulders on the way to top spot in the table. Oriane Barton was as smooth on the slab as she was on the powerful boulders, topping four boulders and adding a zone to secure third spot in the round. Brooke Rabatou joined a group of women who would top four boulders and get five zones tightly packed in the middle of the field. Honanaka made quick work of her boulders, flashing the last three. Here we see her on a smooth top of boulder number four. Futaba Ito continued to her impressive run of semi-final appearances now with 18, dating all the way back to 2018. Jessica Piltz put together composed work in all styles with four tops in the round and her Austrian teammate Francesca Sterer had to work hard for it but was the only other woman with five tops in the qualifying round.
I caught up with crowd favorite Stasha Gejo just after finishing her qualifiers this afternoon. It was my first time starting first in my group, so I was really nervous, I must say. And uh, I thought I might be messing up a bit too much with my attempts than I would like to. Um, it felt then good, really good after number three and four, because some boulders were really my anti-style and I just pushed through and did really well in those. And I really like it when I struggle with something in the winter and I train a lot and then I do it really well in the comps. It just makes me really happy. I don't try to control my positive emotions. I just let them go and it does hype me up a lot. It hypes up the crowd as well, so it helps me too. So I'm excited for tomorrow and uh, yeah, getting ready to give my best. Well, you've been climbing very well this season so far. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to you in the semi-final and I'm looking forward to you bumping up into that final. So well climbed this morning and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. <laughs>